Our next speaker is Ming Tan, and he's going to tell us about his dreams. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Ming Tang, uh, initiator of Ideal Day. And today I'm going to tell you about the concept of Ideal Day. But before I start tell the story, I would like to start from myself. So I am a very normal person, uh, graduate, uh, uh, no, just uh, from the very normal family, and uh, graduate from college and get a master's degree and got a kind of decent job. So I'm very normal, normal person like everyone sitting here. And uh, however, I think I have some specialty that um, I like cool and creative things. So I play band, I wrote songs, I perform a lot. So uh, let, let's, let's, um, that's what I am. So uh, I, I also like to attend some cool event like a flash mob. So this is a flash mob uh, to commemorate uh, Michael Jackson, and we dance a bit at the Ximen Ding area. So let's 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 one of cool event. Another event is that uh, we have a group of people from the culture surfing, and we uh, pretend to don't know e everyone else. So walk into a square under the building and look at the sky and start laughing. All the passersby they don't know what we are doing, and we just dismiss. <laughs> and then another thing is that I like to take the jumping pictures. So I travel everywhere. I will take the jumping picture with me. So I have a full collection of jumping pictures in my album. <laughs> right. So, um, so as you know, that I have to take those pictures. So I have to travel around the world. And uh, yeah, because uh, Travel is also my habit, so I like to travel with my backpack and to interact with the local people and experience the local cultures. So uh, this, uh, I, uh, therefore, I can use the different perspective to look at one thing uh, that uh, we might take it for granted for a long time. So another thing is that um, because I can use this, so yes, right. So I become more sensitive to the environment around us, and. Uh, so, what I'm going to say, I forgot, but I have to tell you that sadly, during my travels, um, we can also see some unfair things happen in this world. Like, uh, those kids uh, in Manila, they stay in the safety islands on the street, and they, it doesn't mean that they, don't, they are playing they, it, uh, because of, uh, they don't have a place to stay. Another thing is that uh, those kids in Cambodia, uh, they don't even have the resources to study and to eat. So those kind of unfair things are not just happening in some countries around the world. Um, it also happened um, in the environment around our society. So when I came back, I started to think of how we can overcome this kind of unfairness. And um, so, um, yes, I do some charity things, but I also discuss with some of my friends, and we came up with one idea that, why not we just combine the cool event and the good cause together? That cool event can attract lots of attention, right? Like flash mob and the good cause. And we can transform those good attention into a good cause, like a donation or something. So it turns out that we have an organization called Ideal Day, just combine those two concepts together. And the concept is that uh, we want to raise the social awareness uh, via the cool event. So that's what we are doing. And the first event is about the garden party, uh, and we play with the children, and we play with uh, interact with the parents, and we ask the parents to donate some money for charity education. Of course, parents have to pay for children's uh, fund. Yes, all right. So it's a perfect combination between the um, good, uh, cool event, the garden party, and the good cause, the Children Welfare Foundation. So uh, every cent they donate, we are helping the the um, Children education. And the second event is about scavenger hunt. We brought the participants um, visit a different area, different green areas around Taipei. So um, they were during the during the, uh, via the game, they can aware of the green protection. So it's also another good combination between the cool event and good cause. So uh, what I'm telling uh, is that it's very simple things um, and. It's not the rocket science to teach your cat flying to the moon. So it's very simple things that we can do it by our own. And you don't have to know very complicated things to do this. So um, I'm here 
to encourage you to try your first step to a moon. Of course not. Uh, try your first step and <laughs> yeah. So um, dare to explore and dare to make a change. Um, right. So we hope every day becomes the ideal day. And thank you for enjoying my 300 seconds. Thank you.